Here I have Samsung Galaxy J7 and let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification, so how to remove factory reset protection from your device. Here I have my phone after a hard reset operation and as you can see I can't bypass the following screen. I should input my Google email and password. But let me show you how to bypass the following step. At first you have to prepare micro USB cable connected to your PC and then connect this cable with your phone, so let me do it. Excellent. Afterwards you have to install Real Term. It's a special application for your PC. The link to the following app will be under the description. So let's open Real Term, go to port section and here you should input a port of your device. How to check your phone's port? You can check in our other tutorials, the link will be under video. So in my case it's 11, so let's tap 11 and choose change to apply or changes. As you can see, three lights are highlighted, so it's a good sign, that's what we need. Then let's go to send section and here you should input a code. The code is in our description. You should use the second one. If this code doesn't react, doesn't work properly, you should use also the first one. But in my case, it should be enough only the second one. Let me type in. Here you can choose the random number. In my case, it could be 991. And just use send as key button right here. And let's just create contact. Then you can allow contacts to access photos, etc. Scroll down screen and choose scan business card. Tap download. Then you have to agree to all terms and conditions, so tap agree. And then tap search in that corner. And let's type in Opera. It's of course internet browser. You can choose the first or the second one, it really doesn't matter, let me choose the second one. And now we should input our Samsung email ID and password. It's not necessary should be a Samsung account connected to your PC, to your phone. It could be a really new Samsung account, you can create account right here. But let me type in my Samsung email ID. As I said, it could be a really new account. Then let's enter password. Let me do it. Wait a second. And then tap sign in. Now the phone can install Opera. Wait a few seconds. And then we can open Opera, so let's tap open. Tap continue. Skip the following tutorial. Now when the app is ready, tap go. And let's type in the following address. Download dot hard reset dot info. Tap go. Let's zoom in. And let's choose Samsung folder. Afterwards, let's zoom in one more time and from the following list, let's select FRP Bypass, so it's a factory reset bypass application. Let's tap it. Tap save. Allow Opera to access photos, media and files. Tap allow. Starting download. Afterwards, let's tap Opera button in that corner and choose downloads. Then let's tap FRP Bypass. Tap open. Install is blocked, so let's tap settings. 
and here we should enable unknown sources right here in that switcher read the warning and tap ok to confirm it and let's choose install to install frp bypass app is installed so it's a good sign let's tap open when the following screen appears in front of you let's choose more button in that corner of the phone choose browser sign in tap ok to the following information and now you should input your google email but it could be a new google email you can create one it don't have to be an email connected to the following phone so let me input my email tap next let's enter your password give me a second Let me tap sign in and wait a few seconds. Excellent. And now all you have to do is simply press power key and choose restart twice. Wait until your phone will be ready to use. Excellent, the welcome panel just pops up, let's choose your language, in my case it could be English, tap start, then connect to one of the Wi-Fi, tap next, agree to all terms and conditions, the device is checking connections, Excellent. As you can see, account added screen just pops up. So it means that previously when we sign in in our new Google account, we add a new Google account to our phone. So it's a good sign. Now let's tap next. Now the device is activated. Let's wait a few seconds, even a few minutes. Excellent, let's tap next. Here you can add another email address, but in my case let's choose not now, tap next. You can protect your phone with the pin, pattern or password, but let me skip the following screen. Then you can restore your device from your previous one, but let me choose don't restore. You can backup and sync later. 
Tap next. You can agree or not agree. Tap next. And now you can tap finish button. So it's a good sign. And as you can see, we just activate our device without inputting old Google email and password. Now we can go to settings, scroll down and choose accounts. And as you can see, the device connected to our Google account that we previously signed in. And now you can, for example, remove this account if you don't need them by tapping more and remove account. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.